topic? Target audience. Okay. My topic is um, getting children to kind of put down the device and get outside. And my target audience is like parents or adults. Perfect. Hey, y'all, please welcome Allison. The sound of children playing on a playground, the sight of sidewalk chalk on the side of the road, or a fresh lemonade stand are all becoming far too rare in today's society. Children are staying inside way too often, and it's time for a change. Did you know that the average child spends over 60 hours a week inside playing on some sort of handheld device? This is becoming detrimental to our society, and the children are going to grow up not having the benefits of playing outdoors. According to the American Psychological Association, more time is spent each week on playing on tablets, phones, computers, and TV combined than sleep each night. This is becoming terrible for children everywhere. As a child, I believe I've learned many life lessons by playing outside. I didn't receive a phone until I was in seventh grade, and nowadays I see people with phones who are toddlers. This is becoming a very big problem in the U.S., and many people are not acknowledging it. I believe children are missing out on the opportunities outdoor, outdoor play provides. Playing outdoors is critical to the development of a child, and I believe action needs to be taken immediately to limit the use of devices and encourage children to get outside. One of the ways this action can be prompted is by becoming more educated on the issue, which is what I'm going to do today. The devices are very unhealthy for children, and many people don't realize this. But the leading psychologists identify five main reasons for, for effects of using uh, devices negatively towards children. The first of which is sleep deprivation. On, to, uh, on average, children are losing at least one hour of sleep each night due to the distractions on devices rather than falling asleep each night. And this is causing uh, horrible effects in children each day at school. The second negative effect devices can pose on children is obesity. The School of Public Health at Harvard University did a study and it shows that t a TV or computer in a child's room will increase their, percent thir or their chance 30% to be obese because of all this screen time. Another negative effect from the devices is aggression. Many video games these days have very um, kind of explicit content for children and they're watching this and um, sometimes applying it to their daily lives. Also, um, a lot of frustration builds up in games when you almost beat your high score but don't quite surpass it. So this is showing a lot of violence um, inside the classroom of children as well. And the fourth um, of the five is limited social skills. Today, children are becoming very timid in social environments because they're so used to texting and online chatting. So this is really um, halting their social experience. And then the last of which is addiction to technology. And in a study conducted by Iowa State University, it showed that 75% of children said that they did not know how to function for a full day without using technology, which is very detrimental to children. Now, you may think this is too far too far fetched to um, reverse and change around, but there's a very simple answer, and that answer is to get outside. Not only is this fun, but it also provides many health and social benefits for children. According to the American Academy of Pediatrics, um, this can cause or this can improve children's vision, lungs, and increase their intake of vitamin D each day. They are also become less likely to develop allergies to pollen, grass, and other environmental elements. This also encourages creativity and brain stimulation in the most crucial time of the brain development. This can also be a way that we can help combat childhood obesity. Childhood obesity is becoming a huge issue and by going outside and eliminating screen time, screen time this can really help, help the cause. Aside from these health benefits, there are also many social benefits that exist as well such as being more outgoing and adventurous, and this can really help with communication skills and making friends. These are also, there are also life lessons such as sharing toys when you're outside or curiosity and friendship. I believe all of these are crucial to children and need to be implemented more in their daily life. Now, take yourself back to your childhood. I'm sure you can remember knocking on your neighbor's door, asking them to play outside, or jumping into a pool on a hot summer day. This is the dream world for children, and I believe it's still attainable today, as long as we take action immediately. This action should be prompted right now because it's becoming too, too, 
far gone to not. I wish that every child would set down the device and truly um, go outside and experience all these amazing things that we got to experience when we were kids. It's time to bring back the days of flashlight tag, blowing, or hide and seek in the dark, and roller skating, because these are the true memories that will last a lifetime in a child's life. After all, children will not remember their best day of screen time. Thank you.